like I wouldn't that. even look for it until the end of the week. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because of uh, and the Memorial Day weekend the troopers yeah. ride. Yeah, man. What's going on, guys? Your boy Chosen Mighty here, and today we got something pretty crazy for you guys. As you guys have seen by the title and thumbnail, I have my first real run in with a game warden. It's actually my second. But let's just say it didn't go as smoothly as the first. <laughs> Regardless, I was fishing with Jeremiah and Noah. Alpha, that is. And we were fishing Pound Reservoir. It's in Norton VA. Actually, I'm, it's near Norton VA. I don't know what actual city it's in. Regardless, you guys can check it out. Apparently, you need your trout license in order to bass fish it, mind you. So that's a fun little tidbit I didn't know. And I learned this video. We also fish Bonnie this video, fish Oxbow, and get blown up by a giant otter in Oxbow, mind you. So stick around for that and you'll be happy to see that. Trust me, it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Literally three feet in front of me, otter just blows up. On a spinnerbait too, it's crazy. Regardless, we're gonna leave the pool now and I'll see you guys out on the water. Before we put this smuggler down, I do want to try this up here. See if we can get any largies or anything that's pushed up onto this. It's a little bit deeper up here too, so there might be some new fish here. Like honest to God, how is a monster not coming up and swallowing this thing right here? Looks so good. And look at all these little birds flying around. Like they could easily mistake one of those birds falling in for this thing. Now supposedly there was a six pounder or so cruising up here. Of course there was that three to four pounder that was sitting over here that we've seen in the past videos. And there's a little doink over here sitting somewhere, just chilling on a bed. But if we can get a six pounder to come up and blow up on this thing, as long as we don't cast it into the lily pads, we should be okay. <laughs> That was a blow up. We missed it. Problem with most top waters is if you miss them once, unless they chase it again the first time, you're probably not gonna get them to commit to it again, which is unfortunate because that fish totally tried to come up and eat this thing. Oh, come on. Really? That's why I hate trees, ladies and gentlemen. Tell you what, the things I do for these lures, just, I mean, just look at me. It's not exactly uh, warm outside today. So I am so happy that I got this thing back. I cannot tell you how much. I've already missed a bite on it. I'll come back up here later because it's probably screwed right now. I mean, I was just swimming around in it, but we'll give it about an hour. Let it kind of chill out a little bit and let me hopefully warm back up. Awesome, you gotta love that, dude. I'm gonna try right here next to this fence, dude. If it keeps doing that, dude, just keep your rod tip and try that. It might keep it up off the rocks a little bit more. But you still want it to kind of bump against the rocks because it'll make vibration and that'll attract them too. I would even fish it a little bit deeper than that because you're fishing it on the bank right there, you know? Like it's kind of shallow right there. I've got to go try this thing underneath this tree, dude, on this bank. That's where this thing's gonna be prime, man. That's my guess anyway. Keep your rod tip high, I would say. Just keep it off those rocks there on the bottom. Cause I don't even know what's down there. I want to catch a muskie on this thing, dude. Oh yeah, dude, there's a tree here too. Bro, I have to work parallel to this thing. Cannot get it hung. I'm not going swimming today. It is? What's he got in his hand? Oh, he's coming down already. Legend, dude. What's up, man? What'd you bring? Huh? <laughs> I said, what's up, dude? Nothing. What'd you bring? Oh yeah? What'd you, I'm talking about like what we were using. We can fish that whole other side too, man. And we're gonna go fish this spillway after this. Yes. The apocalypse. These fish don't get pissed off at the apocalypse and the smuggler coming past them 40 times and just kill it. <laughs> I'm gonna be confused, dude. That's what I said. He's just gonna push right up into that right there. There we go, that's what we wanna do right there. Is that that little uh, soft plastic jerk bait? Yeah, that's awesome, man. I figured he'd be right on that shade line, man. I'm actually gonna walk down just a little closer because I hook him to him. Oh, that was right in that white stuff. Let me pitch it right here at this corner. It's a little bit deeper right there. I can't really see what's over there, so. Maybe right on that line. Oh, it just got darker too. Wow, that was crazy. Man, thought for sure that was gonna get a bite. That felt so good the whole time. Oh, that's right on that line of the wall too. Oh my God, how did that not get blown up, man? That looks insane right through there. Like, just look at it coming back through the water right here. I 
I know it's kind of hard to hear because of the dam, but man, come on, man. That looks prime. Oh yeah, that's it. Come on, baby. I, they look like smallies to me. Look at them. Oh my God, guys. There's probably about 50 smallmouth or largemouth. I can't tell, but they are bass right here in front of us. I kind of want to cast at the front, man. What? Oh my God, are these all fish right through here? What the heck? Holy crap, guys. This is the most amount of bass I've ever seen in my life. At one spot that's are those carp man look at them look at them you can see them right there yeah i for sure saw some bass in there though man too oh yeah those look 100 like bass man look at them they went for it dude did you see that i know this is insane is it, did he come back like is he coming down the hill bro this is just insane all the way down in there that's awesome man holy crap those What's are that? what is there another waterfall coming in yeah oh holy crap yeah they got two water systems right here sorry i didn't mean to scare you that's a bass Look at that bass. Oh my God, that's a largemouth, dude. Yeah, there's some largemouth in there. Do you see that? Look at him right now. Holy crap. Dude, isn't that insane? He's calling us in right now. Now, I, that's the most amount of bass I've ever seen in that though. I'm not even kidding, that was insane. I mean, he's been pretty chill, but I mean, that's what I always say about like any kind of confrontation like this. No, it's not even a confrontation, you know? Yeah, just Like this, this kind of interaction. Just be really upfront and honest with him. I like asking them questions too, because then oh, it tells shit. me shit. Enjoy this beautiful view of my Crocs though, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wore my nice ones today. Uh, what this is, Mr. Strange, this is for uh, Summit Spear and Wise County Court on July 21st, 2020 at uh, 9.30 a.m. That's for fishing stock trout water, so required license to make board come to court by calling the clerk of court here below. She'll give you the exact amount, otherwise okay. you need to be in court on that date at that time, okay? Okay, so I could do this online. Can you do it online? Yes, because you I sure have. Can. Okay, then I'll probably do that but today. Give it a couple days. It won't show up until your ticket's been filed with the clerk. Okay, so you think so, that'll be like three days or so? Holiday this Monday. Oh yeah, they'll that's be true. backed up. Busy. I it's probably gonna be Wednesday or something. I like wouldn't that. even look for it until the end of the week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Be yeah, because of uh, the Memorial Day weekend, troopers yeah. ride. Yeah, man. Truckload of tickets. Oh. <laughs> so, well, that's awesome. Yeah, you have, have a good safe, day, man. Okay? Thank you. You too. Uh, it can be to like a $250 fine, I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure. Isn't it like a $250 fine? He said, I parked up top and watched you all cast. Of course. Soon, listen, as soon as we can get out, we're like, all right, boys, we're gonna go catch a tank. Game warden starts driving down yep. the hill. He said, and then he's like, all right, I'm gonna go over here, he said, sit and watch them. I about you all. And I about said, fun. <laughs> that would've got him going, wouldn't and it? And then he said, yeah, and I parked up top and uh, I waited about five minutes. Then I walked over there to the edge and I saw you all fishing. I said, huh, awesome. I said, well, what type of license do I have to have? I can't believe he let me fucking buy. I got a license. I got or a I got a ticket. He got, got a ticket. He got two tickets. And you got off <laughs> just for buying it right in front of him. He said, I shouldn't even let you do this. Yeah, okay, right. well, thanks for giving me one then. And him one. Yes. <laughs> two, excuse me. Two. Plural. Getting on you. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Come here, big guy. Man, I was wondering when you were gonna blow up on it. Check that out, guys. <laughs> Finally got a smuggler fish out of Bonnie. There we go. He missed it once. I wasn't recording, of course. He's so warm. But there you go. You eating anything? No, just wanted a little uh, waterfowl today, huh? <laughs> of course, I was not recording when I caught this guy. He is a, a little healthy fish. He's nothing ever two pounds though, so. Back to the drink you go, buddy. Check that out, guys. A little smuggler fish for you. You ready, buddy? You ready? Have at it. And right back under the boat he goes. Awesome. Yeah, I told you, man. Usually it doesn't take that long, but. <laughs> Oh, come the... Come on, dude. Is that third cast? Oh my God, they are schooling these shad right here. Holy crap. These shad came right to us. What the heck? They're in this lay down now, right here in front of us. We're just working this last little bit of shade that's out here. It is currently 8.55. What's the water temperature right now, Chris? Oh, okay. Uno momento, por favor. Right now I'm throwing the sparrow color. Just let me make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, we're throwing the sparrow color of this chase bait smuggler over these laydowns. See if I can get a topwater eat. That's pretty crazy. It's the first time I've seen him schooling here. Okay, if that's not a bite, I mean. 
Wow. Michael Phelps is going to get tired by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You want to see if they're hitting a little something smaller? Something smaller of there you go. As soon as he says that, he hooks up. <laughs> hey, it's still a fish, you know? First fish of the day, boys. That might be the smallest bass I've seen caught out of here. Man, he was hungry though. Check that out, guys. Man, he wanted that little bait. It's like a little silent spook, man. I love that. Well, it's signs of a healthy uh, bass <laughs> hey, population. Hey, there we go. When you there catch them of all sizes, that means you got a pretty healthy. Yeah, healthy. that's true. Wonder what he was up to. <laughs> See you later, big guy. You ever try that thing in the river, man? I bet that thing would absolutely murder in the river. Here we go, boys. Couldn't get anything on the top water. Tried it for about. 30, 45 minutes, just nothing. Couldn't really figure these fish out. Chris tried on a drop shot, and now we're hooked up, baby. That's the second fish of the day. We'll take him, though. Bro, I thought he's way bigger just by that hook set. Is that the one that you saw That's that was the out there? Seen, yeah, nice, nice. We kind of got a pattern of them being on these laydowns. I mean, where else are they going to be, though? Going to make today pretty difficult, to say the least. But still doable, obviously. You can still catch fish like this. About 20 minutes later, guys. <laughs> That was a little better. That's a little more of the size we're wanting. Not the size we're wanting. Hey, Chris keeps moving up though. Here we go. Yes, sir. Couldn't catch anything. He even dangled this thing right in front of a four pounder's face and he wouldn't touch it. But well, there we go. We're on the board, baby. <laughs> it's been take, it's taken us probably an hour and a half to catch three fish. Oh, he's running those blue off. Just hit this thing then, dude. Did you get him? Oh man, look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Chris is four up on me today. We're actually getting to some bedfish, though. Check that out. All these guys are just kind of circling around. Crystal clear water. Yep, and they were right up there next to those geese, man. That's actually where I was going to cast, but you beat me to it. And I was like, well, I'm going to let you have him. I just wish I knew where this fish's bed was. He's just sitting right here. All right, guys. What you're looking at right now is what I like to call desperation. I'm gonna go see if there's some bass over here in this corner, just to see. It's a little bit, it's a little bit harder for them here. They might be able to actually spawn. And if it gets deeper over here in this pocket, then I can see them just pushing up onto this. I'm gonna give it a cast before I even get to it, though. Try it right there. Just look a little bit deeper. Honestly, God, it actually looks pretty good out here. I'd say it's about three feet at its deepest point so far that I've seen, but that's enough to hold the bass. Oh, it's so warm right here too. Honestly, God, I don't know if anyone has ever done this on this lake. I might be the first person fishing this. Get one? Yes, sir. Is that a bluegill? Oh, it looks like a bluegill from here. <laughs> I didn't know quit. Chris was gonna be joining me on this wading mission, but he is on it. I'm actually gonna get on the spillway right here so I don't have to wade. I'm okay with wading, it doesn't bother me. Oh man, there, if there aren't bass in just this too, I mean, come on. This looks awesome right through here. Holy crap, this looks amazing. Like if any fish, have fallen over into this, this is where they would be 100%. Kind of shallow here though, that's the only thing that's disappointing to me. I was hoping it'd be just like four or five feet deep right here, just in a pocket, because man, this place looks awesome. I won't give this too much longer, but it was cool to come here and at least try to fish it. Plus I know how deep it is over here now. Bunch of bluegill out here, man. Fish are very active today. They just don't want to hit anything. Like they're not hitting the smuggler, they're not hitting the prop duster. The only thing we've really gotten them on is worms and finesse today. Chris caught one on a little spook. I'm gonna take a whiz while I'm here. Just chumming the water, boys. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna fish this spillway and see if I can get some. Man, I was hoping there'd be a bass out here. Now it's like two, three feet deep maybe over there. See if there's anything in this right here. Nothing doing. Ton of little bluegill here though. So it's a big piece of forage for these bass. And I saw that three pounder sitting running through here. Some nice fish, man. It's just getting them to bite right now. Uh-uh, not from here. There's a glare. I think that's a male. Oh, now I do though. <laughs> I'm so glad I was recording. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Look at this, boys. Title of the video, Waiting Lake Bonnie. <laughs> I'm almost positive that this is the same fish I just caught a second Oh, I guarantee it. Look at it. It's the same spot. Look at that, boys. Same rig, too. It's beds right there on that stump. She's literally, I'm going to see if I can get it on the camera. You might be able to. I'll zoom in on it. That's where she's bedding right now. See if it's or he. Right back down to it. Yep, right back yep. down to it. That is awesome. <laughs> Waiting mission successful caught you twice baby girl yes i'm so glad i was recording 
You should have gotten all of it right there. There we go, boys. They don't call us doink boys for no reason. That's probably the thumbnail right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Woo, we're slaying them, boys. Slaying them. I don't even know if we got the netting of this fish. It took us all day to catch this bad girl. But she finally came around. Look how red yeah, look at her, her gills are. Yeah, she's spawning, man. Yep. Dang. What a pig. You want to weigh her, dude? It's mouth. She is a pig. Man, it just feels good to see that fish. Three. Oh, no. There we go. Yep, right at 388. Look at that pig, though. <laughs> God, she's got a mouth on her. All right, now look. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a shad tail hanging out of its gullet there. <laughs> Guys, that is awesome. Look at that. How about you that for a, a fish? I'm going to see if I can pull that. Yeah, man. Holy shad. <laughs> That's Dear what they're eating. God, man. Wow. That's what they're eating. That eat. was halfway adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at its head. I love you. Why didn't you hit my spinnerbait though? <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we were after today. All right, guys. We're at Oxbow. Actually, I'm gonna cast underneath this tree first. Oh, that was an otter, dude. A what? That was legit. That wasn't a bass. That was an otter. What the heck? <laughs> that was crazy. Please tell me I was recording right there. Okay, good. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. That was insane. Well, let's try not to catch an otter today. What the heck? That thing was huge. That thing was like a werewolf. <laughs> like, I can't believe that. I don't know where it would be sitting. It hasn't come back up for air, but you know they can hold their breath forever. So what about that for an episode? Wasn't that crazy? Got a ticket, fish Bonnie two days in a row, and only got one fish, at least me. But it was on the smuggler, so that was cool. And had that giant otter blow up, literally at Oxbow, right at the bank, right in front of me. Mind you, on a spinner bait. Those are the Booyah spinner baits, and if you guys like those, I'll put them down in the description somewhere, or you can like, just comment, and I'll give you the name of it. Regardless, guys, it was a crazy episode, and if you guys enjoyed this episode, then be sure to hit the like button below, comment, rate, subscribe, do what you guys do, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. That's a little bit more like it. Man, he hammered that thing. <laughs>